Hey everyone, welcome to another one of my Splatoon Tips video thingy majiggers. If you haven't seen the other videos, you can find it in the video description below. Without further ado, let's find out how we can become better Splatoon players. Number 5. Don't force yourself down paths. This is something I see a lot of people do. Let's say person A is trying to go down the path. If an enemy is in the way, person A will more often than not become absolutely hellbent on trying to force his or her way down that path and will probably not make any progress. Don't do that. Find other ways to get to the goal. Here in Walleye Warehouse, there are three paths you can take. Left, middle, right. I chose the left path, but unfortunately someone was already there to greet us. So my teammate and I, we both backed off. I checked the middle path. An enemy is there. No good. Okay, let's go down the right side. And fortunately for me, my teammate was thinking the exact same thing, which is a rarity when solo ranking. Now notice how I let my teammate lead the way. He's supposed to warn me of any dangers ahead, which is a tip from my previous video. And we almost made it all the way. We tripped and died at the end, but the thing to take away is that we didn't waste time trying to force ourselves down a path. We weighed out options and took an alternate route that got us to the goal a lot easier. Number 6. If you have the Rainmaker, do not retreat back to your base with it. Just get the Rainmaker away from your base as soon as possible. Oh my god! Yeah! Woo! God, that is really why you don't hang out in the back. Like, I've seen people, like, even though they're in the lead, like, not just that instance, but they would grab the Rainmaker and run all the way back to the base. Now, if something like that happens, you're screwed. Number 7. On Museum Dolphocino, this area that my reticle is pointing at, this area that I'm pointing at right here, it does not gain you any distance in Rainmaker, despite the fact that it's right underneath the goal. Let's take a look at this clip. One of my opponents has the Rainmaker and decides to charge right into the area, thinking he's going to gain distance by doing so. I'm going to stop right here. Notice where he's at. He's right between the two climbable walls on the sides, and his team has 46 distance. Once he moves past this point, he stops gaining distance for his team. Take a look at the distance at the top. Still 46. And as hard as he tries, he's still not gaining any distance. You're like, Sam, do people actually do this? I don't see people doing this. Maybe it's just him. Maybe it's just that one person that does this. Nope. Take this for example. There's 10 seconds left on the clock. We can take this match. If he just climbs up this wall that me and my other teammate are showing him, but he just goes right into that area. Why? Why? Or you know what? Maybe I just got unlucky with that teammate. Nope, apparently this is a thing and it cost us the match again. There's so many things wrong here. What? Why? Why did he rush? He had backup. I was there. We had we had a kraken, and all he had to do was just climb up the wall on the left. Just uh. number eight. Ignore the opponents in your base and focus on the main objective. In this clip, this guy is in my base. Instead of wasting time and trying to kill him. I just go for the guy that has the Rainmaker. I mean, why does it matter if this guy is in our base? It's the person with the Rainmaker we have to worry about. Not only am I not wasting time trying to kill him, but he's probably still in our base, totally unaware that we just stole the Rainmaker and we're about to win the match. He is effectively out of the equation. We don't have to worry about him at all. Now if they have you pinned down in your base and you can't super jump out, then... 
That's really the only exception. Otherwise, just ignore the opponents in your base and focus on the task at hand. If you find any of these helpful, please share it. People aren't going to get any better if they don't know about these things. Anyway, this is it for now. Love you all. Bye!